Good afternoon, TGIF. It was a long week, but it wasn't like a ridiculously long week. It's just kept getting work. Just like, can I, I have stuff to do. Can we just, <laughs> and you know, it's, it was just, yeah. Like I did a job today that wasn't due till Monday. And they even said, you know, send it back Monday. And I'm just like, yeah. I worked in, and of course it was something short. It was really short, which is fine. But I'm like, ah. And then I try to do some formatting. I'm a proofreader. I'm not required to know formatting, how to do formatting. But if I can do it, I will do it. Even if they just want to proofread, I will do things if I notice your headings or your styles and stuff is wrong. I will do those little things. But there's one thing I'm like, I can't figure out how to do it. And my, <clears throat> excuse me, my coworker was busy. He's cool. I message him and he, usually he can do things like that. Or if we're in the office, I'll just call him over and he'll come over and do it for me. Um, it was one of those things, I, he was busy. So I finally just sent it in because I had it a long time before it was due. Was that that one? That's a different job. Um, and so I was like, okay, it's not due for like another hour and a half. So I just sent it to an operator to get done. Um, and then he couldn't see the trap changes in the file. and. I'm just like, they're there, so I resent it. He's like, okay, I got it. I'm like, good, because I'm like, I'm going to watch. Like, I actually have stuff I need to do to get prepared for tonight. Tonight, you say? Ask, what is going on tonight? Phoenix Film Festival started last night. The opening night movie was Sing Sing with Coleman Domingo. I did not see it. I don't usually go to opening nights. I wanted just to see the movie. I didn't want to do all the little activities beforehand. But no, we, I guess it's a package deal. It's like $60. I'm like, I'm not paying no. So I didn't go to that. I, like I said, I usually don't go to opening night. So I don't get like a festival pass or whatever. I usually go see, I go to industry night, which is what I'm going tonight. I'm going to industry night where I get to schmooze and catch up with old filmmaker friends and colleagues and meet new people. And then I usually go to a panel or two. Um, there's one, I think I'm going tomorrow. And there's some on Sunday and then next weekend there's some more panels. And then I try to see at least one movie, one independent or local movie. Um, I haven't decided what that is yet, so I haven't, yeah. There's a bunch of blocker films, usually like Arizona Shorts. And usually by the time the festival rolls around, I've seen most of them, so I don't go to them. Um, but this year I've only seen one out of the two Arizona blocks. So I haven't decided which one I'm going to, if I'm going to go to both. Sometimes I'm just like... Like I said, I've seen usually a million times, so I don't want to see them again um, by the time they get to the festival. They can be great, but I'm like, I don't want to see it again. Anyway, so tonight, that is what I'm getting ready for. Did my eyebrows. What have I been using for my eyebrows? I don't know what I did with it. Uh, I think that Easter, yeah, my Easter one, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the brow gel, this baby. Oh my God, these things ain't moving nowhere. They are moving nowhere. Once you get it in there, because I was trying to do that little carve out with the um, concealer, but then because I had excess of the gel that had dried down, so I was getting in that and I had to end up taking the concealer off. The NARS concealer, the soft matte that y'all know I got from whatever sale, um, it has to go back. I can't, it's too much of a struggle to figure out how to use or to use consistently or fast. I, I can't. I'm doing something wrong. It's going back. Um, so yeah, how much did I pay for that? I paid half off. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's going back. I've, I've tried. It's going back. Um, like the, uh, the MAC foundation powder. I'm giving that another try this month, uh, before the 60 days are up. Um, on a day, I'm going to do it after that period of time when my face gets weirdly oily. I think that's what it did last time. So if I do it like for a night thing, like after four or something like that, my face should be fine. It's the all day thing. It's not working. Otherwise, again, that's going to go back. I don't like returning things, um, but if it doesn't work for you, they say you can return it. So I will return it. Sometimes they'll give you money back. Sometimes it's just for store credit. Um, regardless. So where? I'm not going to use that one. So this, I did not put sunscreen on today. I ran outside real quick, which I know, usually I put sunscreen on, but this is just moisturizer. I put on the Clinique, that little water hydrating gel. And then I was just trying on different shirts that I was going to wear. So that's why any 
glisten is from that. Uh, eyeshadow is from Natasha Denona, the Glam Face Palette Eye and Cheek Essential. Um, so I'm doing that again because again it's my dream palette. I need to actually use it. Um, like I said, places you can use it for casual looks too. So I think casual looks you just wouldn't put the shine on there, the glitter or what have you. So, but I wanted to use it again anyway. So that's a perfect time for this because we're going with a bold lip today. We're doing the. I was gonna wear. I have a blazer that I bought at Lane Bryant maybe two years ago. I have not worn it. Um, I need to. The sleeves would be perfect. The sleeves are too long, but if I have the sleeves pushed up, the whole Hollywood kind of look, kind of blazer, it works. It's going to be, it's 62 right now. It's going to drop to like 50s while we're out there, so I'm not going to be sitting there with my sleeves pulled up. I'm going to wear my jacket, my khaki jacket that I always wear, usually to the festival. I think I'll be okay. Um, and then with this, I tried like some different shirts on a different time. Yeah, y'all aren't getting cleavage today. <laughs> so... So we're going to have to go to Bold Lip. Y'all get Bold Lip, Andrea. Ooh, I talked too much. Okay, let's go with... Did we put a towel? Did that fall? That fell. Ah. I don't know how I did it wrong. So my mother gave me these things, these little hook things. And it was holding up my cape. I can still feel the stickiness. I don't know if it's because the wall is not smooth. You know, we live in apartments. The wall is usually some weird kind of creakly kind of thing almost like the the cotton or the popcorn and ceiling it's not that but you know they're not smooth the walls aren't smooth i think that's why it fell or i didn't push it up against it enough and we know i have no hand strength so i digress where's my brush for that one i'm using the sponge okay i was like where's my i washed a bunch of brushes um yeah i'm not I'm using the sponge today Anyway, black shirt, I'm not trying to get dirty. So let us, mm, 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 am I doing corrector? I don't remember if last time I used this foundation. I'm using the About Face foundation. So some of this is the same. You've seen it before. I don't remember if I used corrector before. Um, but yeah, because I don't, sometimes I don't go out that much. So it's like, okay, I don't wear makeup as much as, I would like to. Or uh, when you work from home a few days a week, you, and then even I don't, even when I go to work, I, they're not getting made up, Andrea. Okay. So yeah, this is one thing I definitely go to industry night. I go every year. I just catch up and like I said, meet some new people, but usually to catch up at least. Um, okay, let's look at this. See, it looks like it's more on camera than it actually is, but yeah. Uh, the Sephora sale is going on right now. Seriously? Ooh, let's go like this. Luckily, they did not get my eye. Which is why you should close your eyes. <laughs> but Sephora sale is currently going on. Uh, it's currently Rouge. It goes on to the 15th. So 30% off Sephora collection. 20 for Rouge. I don't spend that much money at Sephora to use 20% to get Rouge. I'm um, 15%. And then 10 for people if you just sign up. Kind of for the insider, whatever. So again, I'm waiting until the 15th. Uh, the ninth so i can actually use it um i don't really want that much this year what am i getting really um i might get a color fix in new nine because um her name i want to say is shawnee she uh was using new nine as a foundation i'm gonna try that out um and then case skin lip balm i need some more i'm running out i might try a different uh shade of the lip balm from case scans that has spf in it so things, everything that, and then the setting powder from uh, Ami Colet, the setting powder is finally in, so I want that as well. Just $22, so the most most expensive thing I'm getting is $22. Um, I just realized I did all that, that I didn't, 
<laughs> Did I put on primer? No. And then this is much. Okay, so we know I went home for Easter last week. So I haven't used makeup since then. Apparently, everything's just all resettled and being difficult. And we know I'm running out of this, so I'm like, definitely don't want to use up or waste any of this. But I'm like, come on, son. So this is normally not to order. And it's very windy. I'm like, is this, what is going on? It's like 85 yesterday and then today. It is beautiful. After work went on outside, it is beautiful. Because I went to do some, I, I can't use all this. Um, and I can't, the hole is this big. It's not getting in there. So I just wasted. And hopefully that won't do anything to, because I'm feeling this weirdness in my face and I'm like, okay, it's probably because the order. And the face is like, what the hell's going on, Andrea? Um, so I think everything is just kind of settling, has settled weirdly. So let's shake up about face. Lash, I used MAC. MAC has a new Studio Fix version remastered. Might get a sample, but I'm like, it has a pump now. I'm like, really? Now I want to have a pump. Luckily, I didn't buy the other version. Um, cause, but the pen, I'm going to use the pen forever because I like the pen. So I'm going to definitely use that up. And you have like two years, so definitely going to use that up. But yeah, I'm like, okay, I like this foundation, so I definitely wanted to bring this bad boy out. But yeah, it's been windy all day. It was overcast earlier. Sometimes when I look for later, I'm like, oh, I missed that spot. I'm going to go back to that spot. And then luckily I do. Because I don't see it while I'm doing it here. Yeah, these eyebrows. My eyebrow gel. Like, I don't, I don't got the mini, but I'm like, I don't need the big one. The mini will be just fine, but definitely going to re get repurchase. I'm trying to think of the people, my industry friends who I haven't seen in a while. I got a text while I was home in my hometown. Somebody was like, are you going to be at the industry night? And I was like, yeah, because they wanted to see me or whatever. And I realized last year, she also, she didn't text, but she messaged me as well. So apparently this is tradition now. So hopefully I'll see her. Sometimes there's so many people, but you still miss people because it's like a five hour block of time. Some people may come early. Some people come later. Or some people are actually watching movies and come afterwards. So you may not see somebody because they may not be the right then. And so that's why I usually try to stay a long time. And sometimes I leave like at the end. But that's also a lot of socializing. And then apparently Ulta is having another sale as well. I'm like, starting next week to end month. I was like, no, no, I was trying to be good this month. And I'm so, but they have a lot of skincare on sale, like cleansers. I just ran out of my Inus Free Green Tea Cleanser. And I have another one, but it's, the other one has like silica, silica, silica acid in it. And I use that one for when I have like breakouts random breakouts or whatever i'll use that one and i'll spot treat clean in those places and then use the other one and so finding another cleanser that's just as creamy or i feel like it's doing a lot of work or it's doing what it needs to do um to replace that one i'm trying to do that so this was what up to 30 percent off i think so that's my hope with that some 
cleansers or serums. Because I have had some breakouts usually right about here and then here. And I think my glasses, even though if I'm not wearing makeup, I always clean them off after I clean, after I wash my face, do all my steps. I clean my glasses, makeup remover or alcohol. Um, because I know makeup gets on them from wear makeup. I need to do that with my shades. I don't do that with my shades like I should. So maybe that's the reason. But I haven't really... Sometimes I don't leave the house as much as, you know, you would think. So. a lot right there, I'm seeing it. I think I know what neighbor that is. I can't be 100% because that neighbor just pulled up before I started recording that was very loud and I'm like, that's not who I pictured. So I was like, okay. So, you never know. Okay, this is my new IT brush. Or IT cosmetic brush. Blend at first does it look like this powder on it? It shouldn't be. Where did I set this? Oh, it was on my uh, tissue that I keep my setting powder on. So I was like, what is that? And then blend edges with this one. So we're doing that today. And I had to steam my jacket just now, but I'm going to steam it again because it ran out of water. But, um. So it doesn't start when it starts at six. So now some people this from messages I saw on Facebook are gonna get there. Like get there between six and eight. I'm like, I right, no. But I know I'll so I'm trying to get there. I think last year I got there like maybe eight or something. So I'm trying to get there a little earlier this year. So I can see some of those people that I haven't seen or I just text with. So the one lady I definitely want to see and then another lady was like, hopefully I'll see you. Um, and then the person I'm supposed to go to <clears throat> Bio Cafe before they close in May. Hopefully she'll be there and we can be like, okay, let's do it now. Well, let's set a date. And then... I know a friend of mine, a writer, producer, director, uh, who's leading one of the panels, is in town. I haven't seen him in a while since he left town, so that will be cool. And he's having a flatter brush, which is why you see all of it's kind of on the side there versus the brushes look flatter usually. I think what neighbor was that? Well, one neighbor was in the shower. One sounded like he fell. That might have been upstairs. And then the other neighbor was playing things kind of loud. And I was like, um, where are you going? I just saw you outside earlier today. You already were dressed and all that, unless you have a special date or something. He's an interesting fellow. I think we've talked once. I don't think he realizes that I was his neighbor he was talking to. I know him by his car. I have no idea what his name is. I just know him by his car and banging on a wall. I really like this Fenty. It's just hydrating. And usually, I don't really get dry right there except for when I if I set, what have you, or, yeah, put setting powder too close, or I'll use the color factor. It can dry it out, but I like this other one, because I used to use a matte one, because my face is, T-zone is oily. 
Okay. Going outside was a mistake because that wind and my, my allergies. I didn't take spray before I walked outside. I saw blending edges. Okay. Yeah, it's two sides that uh, I have to clean now, but I think this is going to be an easy brush to clean. I say that because I have other brushes that are not easy, they're very dense. Like the brushes are clean, so like this is clean, but you see it still has a tint to it. Usually I have to keep cleaning to get that tint out. Um, there's a little spot in this one. Um, but sometimes you yeah, get them totally clean. And they be clean like there's no soap in them, but sometimes you still, they take a little more work than I would like. I did it last night and I was like, um, are these going to dry in time? Usually they do because it's kind of cooler today. They won't dry this morning like they usually will be. Oh, well, that's nice without even using the sponge. I might still use the sponge. So I guess there's a movie called Babes that's playing tonight at the festival, but it comes out, I think, later this month. So usually if it's a mainstream movie that plays during the festival, you know, I can still catch it whenever it actually comes to theaters. Um, so I'll just catch it when it comes to theaters. It looks like it might, I haven't watched the trailer yet. Um, I might watch the trailer later. And then Monkey Man comes out tonight and I'm like, sometime during this festival, I'm like, after everything, I'm like, I know this is the festival, it's all about independent films, supporting the films in the festival, but Monkey Man, Dev Patel, um, it looks like it's gonna be really good. So I'm very glad that this is his coming back on the scene. And I'm like, I need to go see this at that theater because that theater is better sound, round sound. They may still have the Dolby versus some of the other Hawkins because the Hawkins near me does not have the Dolby surround sound anymore. In certain movies, like Dune 2 or certain movies, you can't see in that theater because of the sound. Um, for me. So, I but Monkey Man, I have to see that in a big screen in that theater. So, we're definitely going to uh, do that. Am I going to sit now? Let's, oh, let's contour. I don't have the thing on today. So, I am suspecting my rash is from those, the, the, the plastic guard things. Um, I will start initiate the refund process. Um, so we're just using my old hand and I have a wipe here. Cause I never had a rash as much until then. Like I haven't done makeup all week since Easter. And I have this rash on here. So I'm like, it's that. Now I'm just gonna usually go like that. I'm just gonna do like this today. So I'm suspecting suspecting that is definitely what's causing that rash. Um, I'm not really allergic to latex, but you know you can develop allergies to things. So I'm just like, no. It didn't cost that much, but I know Amazon will give me your money back. Sometimes I just don't feel like having a bunch of brushes to clean. And especially if I'm not going out enough to, to me, like, what? because I clean them weekly. You don't have to. I do. And so if I've just used it once and I'm cleaning it, I'm like, ah. Because, like, I only Easter. But I cleaned them because I just wanted to for today. And so I'll do makeup again this weekend. And then what's next week? Nothing else is going on until makeup wise, until book club, which I haven't started the book yet. It's 500 something pages. It's, it's yeah, this weekend, um, I'm definitely gonna read. If I read a lot, just sit and don't go anywhere, do anything. So like I said, trying to get a movie in, two movies since we're going to see Monkey Man. Um, you know, 
and then support by going to a panel kind of thing. I didn't put it there, but you see, I still go up there. So, so pretty much Sunday, I really, I know there's a panel. There's two panels on Sunday, but I'm, I'm not going to those panels. One of them, I, no, I don't need to go to that panel. If I just harass that particular person today, tonight, I can avoid going to that panel. Um, I, I want to support, but it's 25 minutes away, and it's just it's kind of out of the way, so sometimes I'm like, I, yeah, no. <laughs> For several days, that's, that's gas. <laughs> So, hmm. Okay, now with, well, let's do the nose. So, you know, I sometimes forget. I was hoping I didn't forget that because I was like, if I did, if who's at this festival is going to tell me? The guys probably won't because they don't notice anything. But I don't want to get makeup on people's clothes because I didn't blend out my contour. I don't know if y'all can hear that wind. You probably can't see it right there. If you could kind of see. Yes, yes it's windy. It's not supposed to storm, so I don't know. I guess it's a freeze warning in my hometown, but it's not supposed to rain or anything. And it's under a tent, so even if it did rain, it would be fine. But I'm like, should I wear my one size? Sure. Okay. Let's blend that in very well. I'm gonna start right there because that's gonna get some out. And then if they put those little real technique, those little tiny one finger ones on sale, I had to order right away because those will sell out at Ulta. Um, maybe I'll get those. So I was going to get the Charlotte Tilbury Air Filter Powder for under the eyes only. I get the mini, because the mini used to be like $25. It's $28 right now. Um, but I'm getting... the Ami Colet setting powder. And then somebody uses the Sephora Collection setting powder. Well, not the setting powder, but the, uh, what I use to set the rest of my face. They use a lighter shade of that under their eyes. And I was gonna do that. But right now it's coming up as sold out online. And I know they have certain things in store, but it's showing up sold out or out of stock. On the website, because literally yesterday, certain things I was going to buy from Sephora Collection, it says it's out of stock, and I'm like, it's not. I saw it in store. I'm like, it's it's not. So I'm just like, okay, maybe, you know, not locally, or maybe, you know, everywhere else it is, but locally it is not. Like, um, I got a lip stain that's brown that everybody uses kind of as a lip liner, um, so I'm going to use it in the same way. Um, because I had tried it out before and the reds, whatever, and it smelled weird, but this one smells okay enough for me to just use it as a lip liner. And I could do with the Haas Labs, the Mahogany Matte, the lip crayon that I use for them. So, I don't want to sit with everything. Let me, we'll do a Danessa today. So I got that. At first they were saying it was out of stock, but then I changed to buy, pick up in store. It showed that they had some. Because I know they had some. They had a full, they had plenty. So I was like, y'all need to stop these lies. So it's another liquid blush brush. I'm just going to go like that. And then I'm going to use my hand to kind of pat some of it out, or go around. Because you see all that color, all that color's not going on my face. Right 
it makes me look like it's cold out. It's going to be cold. <laughs> I like bringing it up, so I'm going to bring it up right there. Oh, because, yeah, Danessa's color fixes, they don't have them all in store. At least at my location, so if maybe if I go to a different location, I don't know. But it's saying online only, and I'm like, I'm not used to hold all the shades or the nudes at at least the fashion square. So I'm like, I don't know. Y'all are still doing that or not. Because she's been advertising, you know, get all these things from... I did put a post on my Instagram today of things suggested to buy. One of them was, of course, Danessa. Um, and then my LYS, of course. And the Fenty concealer. But yeah, she's been advertising, you know, things to buy. And I was like, yeah, some of that, even with 15%, it's not a lot. 20%, maybe, but 15% is not a lot off somebody was saying taxes it pretty much covers taxes 10 percent pretty much covers taxes all right so now we're going to set the bronzer so she's been advertising other people have been as high too and it, there's been some sales people definitely are like let's compete with this so for a sale that they know. Like I said, I'm like, usually, I'm like, Ulta, you just had a sale. So, it's so like, I'm like, why are you having another one? And it's going to be longer than the Sephora sale. I'm like, I don't remember the sale last year. I just remember the 21 days. I don't remember another sale afterwards. But like I said, I just need cleansers. Like, I'm, I care about my skincare. If you, you know, I clear my skin. So cleansers, things like that. And I find, I found another toner. The Bioma, it's so far, the Milky Cleanser, or toner so far has been, been pretty nice. Hopefully that's not causing a little breakouts out my face either. But, you know, some lady was saying, yeah, I've heard good things about it. I'm like, yeah, I've heard that too. And I'm like, I finally just, I had a coupon for 350 off so I just went and I needed clean I needed a new toner because my Inus free toner ran out and then I have these little sample ones that I get from Ipsy but I'm like I don't like those and then my polish choice I only use when I have breakout kind of things I don't use it like every day to me it's, it's not an everyday one I'm just doing this because sometimes I just look in the foot I'm like um can't see that I did all this bronzing so that's there. And I'm gonna go to the darker one for my nose. Tap, 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 tap. And I realize I'm, you know, being 45, I should be doing like mature skin videos. I I just do whatever. <laughs> um yeah, I have mature skin, but I I just do whatever works for me. Because you know, it's all these things people kind of put you in this hole because I'm my age, I should be doing this. You want to get older, okay. And it's not saying I don't see changes in my skin or whatever. Um, I definitely do. But I I just kind of do what works for me kind of thing. I wouldn't say less more than I do makeup for mature skin. Um, basically, for mature skin, you hydrate. So your skin is different. Um, somebody was telling me your skin changes like every three years or something like that. So right now, I'm combo oily. Maybe one time, eventually I'll be dry. Maybe I'll be more oily. I don't know. Because like I said, during the summer, or doing between 1 and like 3 in the afternoon, all of this, if I wear makeup, is, I just touch my, if all this gets right here, is kind of oily. So that's why I'm like, okay. I don't know what that is. But if I have no makeup on or whatever, my face, the only thing that gets shiny is my nose. So it's almost like, okay, so things you may be putting, the skincare has been skincareing this week. My skin has been looking awesome this week. Um, like yesterday, I think I posted a, a story. I'm like, my skin was just looking awesome. So it's definitely kind of day by day sometimes. I'm just like, what's going on with my skin other days? It's, it's awesome. Okay, let me wipe that off my hand too. 
I feel like spots in front of my apartment, which is shocking because usually by the afternoon, that's when people move in to get the empty spots. Uh, we still, it rained for Sunday night into Monday. And so, uh, say there's a horseshoe shoe. In the middle, it gets flooded. So you can't park there. So everybody's trying to park in the uncovered spots, even though we have covered spots in the middle. But because it's flooded there, and you can't park unless you back in. Even then, the water's too far. You get out, you're stepping in water. My feet got wet Monday afternoon because I came home Sunday night before it started raining so much. And I didn't move my car, obviously, right away. I'm like, ah, the car's flooded. So I had to walk. Luckily, I was wearing my non cloth shoes. So it's fine. Okay, to set this blush, we are doing... Like I said before, I think my other video, we said we want to try this again, but with something underneath it or on, yeah, underneath it. Okay, looks like most of this, even though it's, it's on here, it's it's barely coming off. So I'm just kind of covering here a little bit. And kind of. So that little shine now from that, and it works a little better since I didn't really see anything before. So I'm gonna put that, I'm not gonna put this highlight on. Uh, Fenty and Rare Beauty both came out with highlighters last week, this week. I swatched them yesterday, I'm like, I'm not really impressed. Um, maybe one of them, I actually like the liquid one by Rare Beauty, uh, Captivate, which, will last forever like most rare beauty liquid blood the blush and the but i was like the powder ones i'm like didn't really impress me much somebody said one of the people that worked there said oh this one would look good on you um but i was like i wasn't really impressed with maybe i don't know if there's a good sale but i wasn't really impressed so okay there we go so that's set I don't need any more of that. <clears throat> we are going to, yeah, I'm gonna use, a, I don't have a brush for this highlighter. All right, I'm gonna use our finger. No, I'm so sorry, I never even touched the highlighter if you look at it. So. Of course it sticks right there. Okay. Uh, CSI Miami's on. It's a weird episode. I've seen it before, kind of. I vaguely remember. I swear I sound like my neighbors be dying sometimes. I'm just still here movement. I don't really worry about it. back in there to finish the under eye now let's set the rest of my face so this video is gonna be way too long it's gonna take forever to out to export meaning so I'm using this one my powder my new powder brush instead of my other brush I usually use because I like I'm hoping it disperses as well as the other one okay It's like it seems like it'd be better for overall to bring everything together. Yeah. Okay. Now let's spray.
since I might be hugging people, um, that's why I didn't put it right there. Let me, real quick, keep getting powder all over everything from the setting powder. Kind of tame some of that. And I didn't put any more on there. Um, because last year, one of my actors, he's wearing his white shirt. And I'm like, bruh, I'm just learning to get this makeup set very well. I'm like, bruh, this white shirt. Why are you wearing a white shirt? And you can know it's me because I'm black. <laughs> so you know the brownness is either me or one of these other brown-skinned people. I'm like, bruh, why are you wearing this white shirt? And luckily, I got nothing on the white shirt. Like, I, we did hug in this one photo. We took two photos. In one, I'm, you could tell I'm trying to keep my face away from him. Like, away from his shirt. Not him, because I, I love him to death. I, I adore him. Like, you see, see us interacted. I adore him. I don't, like, have feelings or anything. I just adore him as being my actor. Um, and then the other photo was like, okay. It was a little more how I really feel kind of photo. Um... Yeah, I just put the white shirt. Hello. But so I'm preparing for hugging. And everybody, I'm 5'4. I didn't get my father's side of the family's height. We were discussing this the other day because he said, Yeah, I know. I'm like, Yeah, it's kind of your fault. And uh, so, but no, um, let's see what brush do we have. So, but hugs, this is a, definitely a hug time. And uh, did I use that for the crease? I did use that for the crease. So, I'll use this for the crease. So, I look at my eyes. Okay, let's go to the crease color. Pat some of that out. To go under. And I have none of my Q-tips here, which normally I do. Oh, by the way, it was last week. We got to church late, but my mother said she didn't tell me that something might have been going on before we got there. Um, so when we got there, somebody was getting baptized. But I was like, I, I apologize. I'm like, I'm sorry for making us late. It wasn't, and then the drive to for the drive there. But I didn't take as many after photos like I usually do. But still. Me to make it to church. There we go. Just go like that. It was a simple routine, so I like. Okay. I don't have to get the corners because well, I'm using pound cake, which I've used before. I try not to be dip. See that much comes off. That's why I'm like, it's on my teeth. Anyway, let's <laughs> try not to get on my teeth. Give me one second. I did brush my teeth um, before I started because I like just pop a mint. But I've been eating these everything bagels from Just Bagels. This is from the Bronx, New York. Uh, my mother had some and she made me take some. Been eating bagels all weekend. They're good. They are great freaking bagels. Because to everything, your breath. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Okay. One more cheese. Lashes, no lashes. Um. Yeah. Don't lashes. Yeah. I'm gonna check up on my girls to see about the uh, how they've been since lash class. I know at least one of them went out. Somebody's going out tonight. Uh, first Fridays. I'm doing this also. The bright light is why I'm going down. But, yeah. And I can't see. Um, but... First Fridays, as it warms up, can be a little crazy. Did I get someone in there? Yeah, I can't see. And... The final four is going on right now. So it's going on, activities going on downtown. Glendale, HBCU is going on at GCU. There's a music festival. I don't know if it starts today. So there's a lot going on downtown. I am not going anywhere near those places. That's why I'm like, Phoenix Film Festival is in a perfect place. It's just between Scottsdale and Phoenix. Um, it's considered Phoenix, even though it's kind of Scottsdale. Um, but it's out of the way. So, perfect if you see this in time. Since, like I said, exporting might take a little long because it's a long video. Um, go to the Phoenix Film Festival just realized eyeliner oh that dries Revlon trying to use it before it uh the three months is up So I'm trying to figure out how I feel about this. Mm. Let me go like this. How do I feel about these? Yeah, I don't like these. We're not wearing those. <laughs> That one <laughs> fell on the floor. Oops, too close to my waterline. So I'm just supposed to like learn to pivot. I don't know how much glue is on there. up off my waterline because otherwise it would take me all night there we go and I see the little white but that's glue so I'm like if I pull at it you know some of the eyeliner came off because when I was the glue from the other ones it's the only time to me the black Blue would be good. Because they're the longer ones, so that's why they can be very obvious. Versus 
if I had the shorter ones right there. So I'm at that phase where I'm like, I feel it hasn't settled in yet, or I feel not too sure. So that still happens. It just put powder on my face. <laughs> I was just seeing texture, so I was like, oh, I'm fine with texture. I'm totally fine with texture, but I'm just like, it's, and then lashes not acting up. These glasses are definitely much, I know. But, yeah. So I'm trying not to do that thing where you take everything off because I worked hard for all this. So I'm like, no. Oh. Okay. Oop, my bad. Okay, so we're gonna go with these. These are earrings I've had since 2010, 2011 the ex gave me I still like them the good for simple So with that, this is my final look for Industry Night. Yes, it's a long video. I'm going to figure out how to shorten it, but I'm off to go talk to Mingle, schmooze it up with my uh, fellow filmmakers, catch up and uh, get the hugs and hopefully meet some new people as well.